Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I want to uh, show you guys what an old time hot box is. And what a hot box is, is it's basically a container that's uh, covered up that was either used in the fall to prolong the growing season or it was used in the spring to uh, harden off uh, seed starts. And the old timers would make these out of pretty much anything. Anything uh, rectangular made out of wood or could be made out of those things. Old windows was one of the things that these uh, old hot boxes were made out of. Um, old uh, pieces of that opaque uh, fiber glass sheeting was another thing that I seen these hot boxes made out of and uh, I got my hot box started right back there I'm gonna turn the camera around here and I'm gonna explain a little bit how I put this together and how you make one of these guys all right this is what my hot box looks like for this year and uh, all this is is it's a rectangular frame made out of some old boards and uh, I put a little bit of uh, compost and uh, potting mix into this and uh, there's no bottom on this whatsoever. In uh, the spring then, I can just lift this guy up and then I can uh, work this ground right into uh, my soil to augment my uh, soil for uh, next season. Now I've got red beets down there at the end I've got lettuce. That's kind of like a lettuce mix. There's several different kinds of lettuce in that. I've got spinach. I've got uh, radishes. And then I've got um, parsley coming up here. And all these plants that I have grown in here, these are all cold hardy plants. These are plants that you would plant in uh, the spring and uh, they can handle a little bit cooler weather. That will prolong your hot box um, even longer. Now, after you got your little rectangular um, box made, you're gonna wanna have some kind of tower on it. And all I did was, is I put a um, two more boards up about um, 18 inches or so on either end, and then I put a two by four across the top. So uh, it's got a little bit of basically an A-frame um, tent type look. And uh, then what I did is I uh, salvaged some old plastic from another project, and I stapled it on the back side right there and then I took a uh, got a strip from my uh, neighbor's lumber pile that's about eight feet long and I wrapped up the uh, plastic so I can actually open this and to close it all you're gonna do is just unroll that strip and it basically makes like a little greenhouse now when you're planting stuff in a hot box when you're planting stuff in a hot box you want the stuff to come up and to be growing good before you get ready to uh, put your plastic on there because uh, it needs the rain, it needs the moisture, it needs the light for it to um, to sprout and to get going. But what you're doing is, is you're actually creating a microclimate in here and uh, it's basically like a little miniature greenhouse. And these plants, believe it or not, even if it's well below freezing, these plants will still grow in here throughout the winter. Lettuce is a, one of those things that I've especially had good luck with this. When it's really super cold, the lettuce will stop growing. And uh, when you get them warm days, like in January or February, they'll kind of wake up and they'll start growing. And uh, whenever I've done any type of hot box, a couple of times throughout the season, I come out and I will trim the lettuce that I have growing in here. And like I said, even in the dead of winter, you can still get some um, um, greens and stuff out of these uh, hot boxes. And another thing, you can actually let this stuff uh, go all winter long and it will go to seed for you in the spring. And then you can, of course, collect seed to um, use for, uh, for another planting, either next spring then or then later next year for your next year's hot box. But anyway, this is just an old time concept here using hot boxes. Um, cold frame was another thing that these things were called. And again, if you leave this up throughout the season, if you harvest the stuff out of here, come uh, early next spring, you can actually use this for hardening off uh, your seed starts. Like if you start tomatoes or peppers or something like that in, uh, in your house, in a windowsill to get them kind of acclimatized uh, before you put them in the actual ground, you can move them out here for a few hours a day to actually uh, harden them off. But all I will do then when I get really, really cold weather is I'll uh, unfurl the uh, top part of my um, plastic here and uh, cover, make sure that the ends are uh, stapled in place and I will cover them up for uh, this season. But anyway, I just wanted to show this old time uh, technique to you guys and explain a little bit what a hot box is. They have, like I said, they have different names, but um, this is a way that I can extend my uh, growing season. And when it's warm outside, like it 
sort is today, then uh, you can open this up. If it looks like rain, again, you can open it up so a little bit of rain gets in here. You can water these with a watering can and uh, keep a little bit of moisture in the soil. But once these are closed up, they're also like a terrarium, so they capture the moisture. The moisture will condensate, uh, condensate on the uh, plastic and it will fall back into your uh, hot box. So you're basically making like a little miniature uh, ecosystem inside there. But anyway, I just wanted to share this uh, old time technique with you guys so you guys uh, know about it and possibly utilize it for yourself so you got yourself some fresh greens in the winter months coming up. Anyway, you guys have a good one.